Um, I've never woken anybody up out there sleep with sexual activity. I've never done any of that. Like, like even if we go together and you wake me up with some neck, I'm going to feel a certain way about it. Like, technically, you couldn't have got an answer. So this isn't consensual. So I never do that. Like, she at least tap me on the shoulder and be like, hey, I'm going to suck your dick. And I just would, hey, hi, babe. Like, you know, you ain't got to just take what you want. This ain't that. And I'm here to let y'all know that in the South, growing up in Kentucky, there's a lot of toxic shit that goes on, like, Let's go to these notes. I got these notes right here. There's a lot of toxic shit. I want to make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, where is that? Hold on. Fuck. I thought I had that shit written down. Fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Men will, like, teach you, like, older men, like, not older, older men, but your peers, basically. Your older peers. Your your guys are four years, five years ahead of you. If you ever get that chance, I played... Football, basketball, baseball, all the different types of sports. And in high school, freshman, sophomore year, like I already knew all the older guys because I played sports in that county my entire life. I've seen them at AAU practice, the four years older the guys, the guys that graduated 08. I've seen, you know, some of their sisters, their brothers, I'm friends with their brothers type of thing. So I've been around a lot of these guys. So when they started giving me advice about girls and how I should approach them and how I should handle sexual situations. You know, a lot of it was, as you got to question them nose, bro, because she really don't even be, like, she really don't even, girls be saying no, but they really be, they really be feeling that shit, bro. So you got to just, you know, just try that shit, bro. Like, you got to try that shit. And I'm here to tell y'all, bro, if you do that, that's sexual assault, bro. Don't do that, my nigga. If you're 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, if you're 100 years old, nigga, don't do that. Don't question nobody's no. Just because you feel the moment. Nigga, it might be the moment. It might be the time. But if she wants to skip out on that moment, she has the right to skip out on that moment, bro. It does not matter how romantic it feels. It does not matter how right it feels. If she says no, shit, if you say no, then it's fucking No. Right off the muscle, as soon as you start to question her no, I'm going to tell you right now, you're already looking creepy. As soon as you even in your head be like, is she sure? Is she sure? Yes, nigga. She's very sure. She said no. Come out of her mouth. Get the fuck up. 